In this video, we're going to demonstrate high power Lena Peak operations in a Cirrus SR-22 normally aspirated airplane. We'll begin by leveling off at our target altitude for cruise, which is 9,500 feet. Once we're leveled in cruise, we'll reduce the RPM to make it quieter, all while keeping an eye on the manifold pressure. And we want to maintain maximum manifold pressure, which at this setting is 21.4 inches of mercury. So we'll keep pulling the power level back until the manifold pressure just begins to drop, and then we'll nudge it back up to 21.4. And in this plane, that typically happens around 2530 RPM. And here you can see the manifold pressure drop and nudge back up. Now it's time for the big mixture pull. We'll turn the boost pump off and rapidly pull the mixture back to a safe fuel flow of around 11 to 12 gallons an hour. And now the plane is safely parked there, well lean a peak, and we'll give the EGTs some time to stabilize. And then we'll proceed with finding peak EGT. Now that the EGTs have stabilized, we'll use the lean assist and slowly raise the fuel flow, waiting for the exhaust gas temperature readings to peak. You can see them starting to rise now. My guess is that peak will occur around 14 gallons an hour, and we'll see that on the EGT readings. And the moment that the EGT stop rising, we'll capture the peak using the normalized key. Peak EGT is indeed about 14 gallons an hour. So now that we've captured it, we'll pull the fuel flow back to where we think we want to cruise. In this case, uh, 13 and a half gallons an hour ought to be about right, but we'll verify that with the red fin diagram to ensure that we're out of the red fin. And yep, 13 and a half gallons an hour only needs to be a few degrees lean of peak. And when we look at our display, that is indeed what we find. We're just a few degrees lean of peak, and this is a perfect setting for cruise flight for these conditions.